theme tune is why I'm glad I didn't why I wasn't alive in the 70s. That was the uh, forerunner to uh, a news tune used by ITN in the United Kingdom. If you watch my books on a regular basis, you'll be familiar with the news at 10 tune I normally use on my admin scenes. But I'm Chris Williams, as you saw from just then. I blog from Cardiff, United Kingdom. Welcome to today's episode of my daily video blog. Today being the 15th of October 2010. And if you're regular, you'll see that I'm playing around tonight with my uh, imagery so you can see me here and you can see me here <laughs> that's, that's that's quite a funny effect isn't it i think you can vaguely see on my computer that me on the computer is pointing at the computer inside the computer well that's just hilarious so a uh, number of topics i'd like to say if you go to my uh Ho if you go to my channel, youtube.com slash Mr. Chris House 24, you see that I've done some adjustments. So now you can see all my videos on the screen in one go. So that gives more exposure to my back catalogue in case you have not seen my videos. Busy. I've done uh, well, uh, I've done well over 300, but you can only see 290 of them. But some of them were too controversial due to my Asperger's syndrome. Uh, other things uh, that I talk about. Well, today's main topic, of course, is Liverpool Football Club, of which I support. Uh, it's finally been taken over by John W. Henry. So, bye bye to Tom and George. Uh, it remains to be seen if uh, Roy Hodgson can turn the team around, and if uh, Mr. Henry and uh, New England Sports Ventures will be uh, having patience with him. I imagine they'll keep him until the end of the season and then they might get rid of him. Uh, no, that is normally what new owners do. Uh, but uh, that went on for quite a while, didn't it? But uh, we can now all move on. How close was Liverpool from going out of business? I don't really think they would have gone out of business. No, as Martin Boyton some time ago, the club is solvent, it's got money. So uh, uh, it just would have been some kind of... Uh, bureaucratic uh, mess up that would have uh, caused problems but uh, it's all in the past now now answer me this why have all the women who live in this house most occupancy moved out very strange uh apparently there's only two people two only two females living here this the house that has 30 rooms and everyone else is male but that appears that the two other women have moved out why? Well, I hardly had a chance to get to know them, so it's a shame there's a male-dominated house now. Of course, today, being October the 15th, uh, 2010, that reminds me, of course, it's now 23 years, uh, 23 years ago today, actually, that uh, I was sick at someone's birthday party. I I became aware on Facebook and it, it was their birthday today, and uh, it brought back all the memories of me being sick at their birthday party. How embarrassing. I was sick all over my trousers. It was the crisps that then they said, Oh, crisps, would you like some crisps? Stop my mouth for the crisps. And they said, Would you like some cake? And then, bleh, over my trousers. So, uh, because I think I'm giving you too much information here. Now, do visit my written blog, musingsofcrisprooms.blogspot.com. I know a lot of you have been doing that recently, but I've had exams on. I've been too busy to uh, do video blogs like this. Do let me know if you have any topics you want me to blog about. I don't think that this video will get too many views because it's shit, to be honest. Uh, and no, this is just my daily blog, uh, blogging about anything that happened today. Not much happened today. No big story in the news for me to blog about. So, uh, um, just a, a case of uh, going back to it being a video diary to compliment the writing that is on my written blog. Of course, you can be my friend on Twitter, but I'm Chris Alf W. And also, I encourage you to be my sister's friend. My sister has a stick and train card business, uh, and you can find it on Twitter at KazaStuckOnYou. Um, go to that on Twitter, and you'll then find the web link that takes you through to the shop. And she sells sticker and stickers and trading cards. Indeed, we've got so much time available on this blog, but I've got not much to talk about. Yet there will be an advert for that coming up in a moment, and then after that advert, it is always the standard format with my uh, videos. 
I will be uh, showing you the uh, uh, a summary of the ways in which you can be my friend through my social networking mechanisms, mainly on Facebook, Twitter, my written blog, Musings of Christmas at blogspot.com, and also a reminder of the address for my statistic and train club business. Okay, thanks for watching me. If you're a regular, do let me know what you think of this. I think this is clever. I hope it will look clever on playback. I might do this more often, actually, though. I have to bring the tower for my desktop out a bit compared to normal. Okay, thanks for watching me this time. This might have been a complete waste of my time, actually. It might be a complete waste of your time, but I think it's a bit flat compared to normal. But so, as I say, go to my channel on YouTube, Mr. Chris Elf 2004, and you can find my previous videos, of which there are loads, and I think they're all a lot better than this one. Okay, until next time, bye for now. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>